What could someone do to, I guess, educate themselves, prepare, and take advantage of a potential crash? What's wrong with a crash? That's what, that's what people don't understand. Crashes are really good. Yeah. You know, crashes are basically like Neiman Marcus having a sale. Right, right. So in 2008, when the markets crashed, they also lowered the interest rates. I thought I died and I went to heaven. That means I get my debt cheaper. Yeah. So when the markets crashed, my partners and I borrowed 300 million bucks and we bought more property. Wow. And so 10 years later, it's now, we're now five, almost 600 million in debt. We just passed half a billion. Right. But we get very rich off of debt. But that takes financial education. I know right now in the United States, it's been you know, triggered as a bear market, which is when stocks drop from 20% or more from the all-time high. A recession or a bear market often only happens every decade. And so right now we're entering into that territory. There's a lot of businesses that are going to be affected by this. So this is bubble-nomics. It came about in 1970. This happened in 1971 when fake money came in. So I want to give you economics or bubble economics 101 it ain't that hard so what happened after 1971 when the dollar became fake it mean, meant governments could print their own money well why would you work for money when they can print it it's called counterfeit money why would you save money when they can print it so this here is economics for the average person me 1971 when they ran out of money they just printed money and they kept printing money. They kept printing money. So the government's out of money, we just print more money. And then 1987, we almost went down. It's the biggest one day crash, supposedly. I don't know what the heck they're talking about. But anyway, so after 87, they just. And what happened in 2000 was a dot com crash. So what did they do? <laughs> Biggest bubble ever. So 2008, what happened? What did they do after 2008? <laughs> the biggest money printing in the history of the world. So this is called bubble nomics. So what happens when things go in a bubble? Real estate prices go through the roof. Stock prices go through the roof. Bond prices go through the roof. And people get this false sense of being rich. This is bubble economics. So what's coming up is pensions are going broke in America today. Baby boomers are not gonna be able to retire. So they've been stolen by Wall Street. Wall Street puts out these toxic assets like stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETS, stuff I don't touch. And they keep... now in the trillions, and it's going to be trillions more. So let me ask you a question. What's going to happen? That's called Economics 101. Thank you very much. I'm preparing that if there's a recession, that yes, my portfolio, everything can drop up to 50%, but long-term, long-term, I'll be able to quadruple my net worth over a five to 10 year horizon and quadruple it in ways that I never would have been able to just going at the pace that I'm right now. So I look at it as an incredible opportunity for me personally where I can take advantage of that, knowing what I know, preparing my mindset, even learning investing, learning business, learning marketing, all these things that can make sure that I can benefit as much as I can when that time comes. And if it doesn't occur, which you know, I don't think that is likely, it's just a matter of time. But if it doesn't, then I'm still benefiting from the gains that I have because I'm not completely out of the market. Like I said, I still have a lot of my net worth invested. I'm receiving dividends from these investments and I do invest, you know, every single month as, as well when there's dips in the market and opportunity that I deem is worthwhile. So it's taking that long-term approach, guys. I think that's the most important thing. If you've got time on your side, then a recession could be the greatest opportunity of your life.